last time we got Manda Barf already painted and so this time we're putting together his lab. We are going to be taking all these parts and pieces from the kit bashing box and we're going to be putting them all together. I've got uh, this plate is a packaging piece from a set of ratchet straps uh, that a family member got over the holidays. It's a perfect lab setting. It's got little kind of dividing squares in it already for where the characters can stand. I've got a 3D print um, raft. That's the white that you see there. I've got a pencil sharpener that's going to be like a creature pod. And then I've got a broken um, based marble that I had from another previous D&D project. And then I got a baggie of parts from uh, I think like an antique store or a dollar um, consignment shop. And uh, then I've got all these sprues which look a lot like tubing or, or wiring. Uh, so I'm going to put some of that in the back of this big alcohol box. So the alcohol box and uh, that is the base of the whole project which is that these empty wooden boxes uh, I'm going to do one project Frybox64 is going to do one project we've got these boxes they've got the great handles you can see how uh, all that primed up in the back I've also got two little tiny LED torches uh, and then at the end you get to see it with the lights off Positive thought is that you don't have to spend a lot of money to make an awesome project. Altogether, uh, if the boxes weren't empty when they started, that would have been expensive to get those wooden boxes. But you could have just as easily used a cardboard box. Uh, the ratchet straps, again, this is just the packaging. So it was something somebody would have thrown away. Uh, those would have been a little bit of money if we were needing to buy the ratchet straps. But the rest, I think, probably was under $5 for the baggie of parts and all the sprues left over from different projects. And um, it really was cool to see all of the Amanda Barking Lab projects are dedicated to our Discord virtual adventurers because. They had the idea for the diorama. They picked out the theme, which was Mandabark's Lab. And um, they just have been amazing with creating stories and content and getting immersed in the universe. So uh, today's Mad Scientist diorama is thanks to all of our Discord for forks. This is thanks to our Discord folks. Call to action, we want you to put in the comments the next scene or style of diorama you want us to do for a future project. So let us know what you want to see us try to attempt. If you've seen any of the other Mandabark lab projects in this series, you know that Mandabark is a long-standing villain. He survived multiple apocalypses. He's done time travel. He's been through to other planes of existence. He started with a human body that got downloaded by mechs, and now he has a mechanical body or several different mechanical bodies. Uh, he helped found a thousand years ago one of the largest cities in the main continent 
And he's really been kind of an active presence. So it's neat to have that he finally has a, a physical home that the miniature adventurers can go uh, engage with him. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. You survived me again. You survived Mandabark in his lab. And we'll see you guys for the next video. Thanks, Internet. Next project, we'll probably tackle painting. Uh, we might do a random paint challenge. Um, we also have, in a couple of days, The Eternals is released on Disney+. Plus. Uh, so that's when we get to see the movies is later when they come out on that subscription service. So we might do something with that uh, as well. So tune in and uh, we'll see you guys then.